Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and The records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him.
Wake up, Chief. I need you. on the dawn. Why did you wake me? Hang on. Bringing your systems online now. I rewrote your suit firmware while you were out. You've been busy. Activating the ship's gravity generators. Partial system restoration. Chief, look up. You need to pull the manual release. like old times. Ready to get back to work? I thought you'd never ask. Chief, be careful! Because some areas might have lost pressure. Right. Chief, watch out! so badly. I thought we had a truce with the Covenant. A lot can happen in four years. Either way, he's probably not alone. We should be careful. Where are we? Checking coordinate impact data. We have asked you to give up your family, your childhood, your future. Cortana. I'm sorry. It's the crash. I'm fine. Something was wrong even before we left the dawn. Chief? Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. Eight years. AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. Halsey. Chief. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from rampancy, Chief. If we can just get back to Earth and find Halsey, 
She can fix this. Don't make a girl a promise you can't keep. We need to move. It's a localized site cartographer. In service of Forerunner Shield World, designate Requiem. Requiem? At least we know where we are now. Let's see if it can tell us what the Covenant are so interested in. The cartographer keeps acting like the transmission is coming from everywhere on the planet at once. It doesn't want to triangulate Infinity's signal. Oh wait. I got it. That can't be right. Scan again. We've already passed through one layer of the planet's surface. It's not crazy to think that someone else made it deeper inside than we did. You mean the planet's hollow? Let me see if I can figure out a way to reach these coordinates that doesn't involve us digging a really big hole. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. What? I don't know. If we have a shot at getting you back to infinity, we're taking it. According to the Cathedral, this terminus is just one node of a larger transit grid that spans the entire planet. What? When I tried to access the outlet closest to Infinity's transmissions, the system responded with this. What is it? That's the kicker. It's the forerunner symbol for Reclaimer. Humanity. That's got to be Infinity. Can you get us to those coordinates? Let me try to open a portal. Cortana. I'm picking up unknown energy signatures. Where? This can't be right. Set a waypoint out of the tower. Cortana. How did... Quick! Into the portal! Chief, go! Where's Infinity? This is Requiem's core, all right. But Infinity is definitely not here. That satellite in the center is amplifying the ship's broadcasts like a relay. Maybe we can use it to respond. Perhaps. Those beams coming off it are creating the interference we've been experiencing. We'd have to take them out to contact Infinity. Can you get us there? Opening a gate to the first beam pylon. Pull me, and let's go. Ray of sunshine, isn't he? It's working. The signal from the relay is starting to clear up. Wait, Tom, actually, we detected a UNSC agent coming from somewhere inside the planet.
Infinity, this is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn. Do you copy? Infinity, do you read? Chief? Chief, let go of the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account! So fades the great harvest of my betrayer. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. But what hubris to believe she could protect her pets from me forever. If you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the matter. Your ascendants may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The foreigners have returned. This tomb is now yours. Impact predicted 77.8 kilometers due north.
You know where he's heading. Same place we are. Stay low. Recon sortie heading this way. The ship looks intact. Something tells me that's only because the Didact wanted it that way. This is Lasky to UNSC Infinity. Road to an exit bad guys down here. Does anyone read? This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. We're on station, ready to assist. Negative copy. Sounded like you said forward under dawn. Come again. Signal's bouncing in and out. I can't clean it up. Light up their friend or foe tags. We're gonna need something to zero in on. Frey, we're gonna have to give you an IOU on that welcome home party. Tom Lasky. First officer of the Infinity. Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! On what frequency? What frequency, damn it? Infinity, this is Commander Lasky. Pelican recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We've got numerous casualties and require immediate assistance. Over. Finally. Did you get the coordinates of that gravity well? Affirmative, sir, but we're gonna need a bus out of here. Make it happen. You were sent on a scouting run in the middle of an attack on the ship. The captain thought Infinity could provide us cover and hold off the attack at the same time. Sir. We'll never get the wounded back to the ship on foot. I don't know if it's too soon to ask you for a favor, but... We're gonna run out of breathing from here real quick. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. I'll send out an all-clear once the area is secured. What I want to know, people, is where the hell did those things come from? It's possible that they're native to Requiem, or whatever counts as native for a Forerunner AI. We've never seen this type of offensive reaction from any of the other installations. Other installations? Mr. Lasky. Infinity's mission has been to locate the remaining Halo rings, and establish permanent bases to study them for decommission. We got locations up and running around installations five and three, but lately they've run into some setbacks. A science team got zapped excavating a Forerunner artifact. This sensor data is all that was left. Interesting. These symbols are a derivation of the Forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your orders. Thank you, Palmer. Mr. Lasky, you take point, I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at Fleetcom. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day.
Infinity to Gypsy Company? The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side and take the gravity well. Infinity out. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. Who are you? I am what remains of the Forerunner, once known as the Librarian. My memories were retained to assist humanity on their path to the Mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. The Didact is leaving Requiem. Soon, you must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this. The Composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You. spread into the stars with an unexpected, desperate violence. Entire systems fell before the Didact's warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. When the Didact finally exhausted the humans after a millennia, his sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners were not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. Weakened from our conflict, we were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The Forerunners made plans for a final great journey. But the Didact refused to yield our mantle of responsibility. He would save all life in the galaxy, at a cost. In the Forerunner's quest for transcendence, the Composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. But its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented, and our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. Such moral concerns faded from the Didact's attention. The Flood only assimilated living tissue. The Composer would provide the Didact his solution and his revenge. The Prometheans. They're human. They were only the beginning. He would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the Composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaimer. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the Didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution your combat skin, even your Ancilla Cortana. 
You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer, the gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the Composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. Infinity cannot handle that kind of punishment. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir, we've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Karanay Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not! Allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real. If it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didact's vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. 
I hope to God you're wrong about that forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And Chief, good luck. Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. Forward auto cannon, check. Lateral rail turrets, check. Main thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right, keying engine. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. Tana, what's happening? I don't know. Hang on! Still here. A halo? Installation 3. It's where Infinity found the coordinates for Requiem. Then why are they bypassing it? Because the Composer's not on the ring. What are you waiting for? That station's not gonna save itself. This is UNSC Master Chief to base. Do you read? Yes, I read you. This is Sandy Tilson of Ivanov Station. We're under attack. They're after a Forerunner artifact you took from the Halo Ring. How do you know about that? Doctor, I need you to protect that artifact until we arrive. Send whatever... Do you know what that condescending bitch said to me after our first game of chess? Cortana. Even I don't call it my name anymore. Correct your approach. Yes, well, he also said he works better alone. I can see why you chose him, Catherine. Cortana. I'm your greatest achievement, and you detest Pull up. Now! I'm sorry. I 
I just can't stop them. Like a thousand of me arguing all at once. Dr. Tilson. The door over there. I desperately hope you know why all this is happening. Because to be honest, my objectivity isn't doing me a whole lot of good right now. Hold on. I'll start us down. The device you recovered was a Forerunner weapon. The commander of that ship wants it back. Wants it back? You don't think you can remove... It can't leave the station. You know that, right? We don't have any choice, Doctor. It's not a matter of choice. It took three months, and, and the biggest starship the UNSC could throw at it just to relocate it here. Unless you're a lot stronger than you look. It's not going anywhere. Can you give Cortana access to the station's supply manifest? What for? If we can't move the Composer, we have to make sure the Didact can't either. Oh, wait. We have years of work invested here. Inventory lists seven excavation-grade Havoc Mines. Just one of those would turn this base into a pinata. I'm sorry, Doctor. Keep routing your people to the evac centers. Once we take care of the Composer, you won't have much time. Oh. Make sure the nukes are primed so you can detonate them remotely. Maybe next time you rescue us, you can give us more time to pack. Next time. They've compromised the station's hull. The Didact's taken the Composer. Get these people to the evac centers. Taken? Taken how? Tap the flight deck. Find us something that can carry a payload. Wait. Something's happening. Cortana, can you access the station's defense systems? They're not responding. Cortana! Jeez! It's... Are you okay? I monitored the data pulse. I could hear them. What was left of them? We need to move. These people are gone. And more will follow if the Didact reaches Earth. They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. It won't be me. You know that, right? It's 
Spinning up a broadsword in Hangar C-11. Whatever the librarian did to you obviously worked. Cortana. It's not over. Not yet. Not yet. Approaching the Didax ship in 200 kilometers. Once we get on board, we'll find the bridge. He's on the move again. The fighter's shields aren't rated for slip space. No, but the Didax are. the last one. Infinity, you're clear. Roger that, Chief. You might want to back up a little. Main battery, fire! Clean hit. We're proceeding to insertion. Acknowledged. We'll be on station if you need us. Make sure you get the didact our regards. Infinity out. Now what do we do? Plan B. I've got to do something you're not going to like. Persist too long after your own defeat. Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. 
Revolution. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. In that case, you won't mind if we return the favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. Cortana. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. the strangest thing you've seen all day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. What? Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Wait.
Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but... I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but... Never anything like you're going through. Our duty, as soldiers, is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that... Like, soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. being a machine. In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreign ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to receive. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to forerunners alone. Think of my acts as you will. But do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it.